Hello and welcome. Uh, this is the third stream for my Red Dead Redemption 2 No Hat playthrough. Hope y'all had a good week since the last one. Got my dog joining me on the left over here. She's all cuddled in, so I won't pick her up to show y'all, but she's there. Uh, oh, that actually reminds me. Apparently whenever I stream, it just like switches off the part of my brain that lets me like I can only think about what's right in front of me because I totally got her age wrong uh it was that I think I said that it's like oh I think she's five when I adopted her but it was that I adopted her five years ago and she was three uh when I adopted her and so she is around eight there we go Yeah, cowboy shenanigans. Welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, new outfit. Uh, this one's the outfit that I dressed him up in uh, in my first playthrough. I also have like a dress down version where it's without the jacket and gloves or chaps. Um, but yeah. Got. It was weird because like um, when I went to check the outfit after the last stream uh i had a ton of other clothes in my wardrobe so i was like okay that works i'll take it uh, so i got to fully dress them up how i had them before um i might try um dressing them up different outfits for each chapter maybe just to keep experimenting excuse me Oh, that's Hello. a sheriff. Hey, partner. Right. Howdy. Wait. Paris, I promised you I was going to show you the cat that I found when I was dressing him up. Wait, where'd it go? It just hangs around the general store. Here's the mayor. Hey, man. Hanging out again. How'd you do? Where's the kitty? That was the other thing I told you is that the cats are always so hard to find because they they're just so small and they blend in Hello, and they sir. just walk so they don't the movement doesn't really catch your eyes easy and they also don't bark so it's a little harder to find them than the dogs oh no I don't see you at the post office no oh, I don't know Oh, I'll just hang out by the general store while we do our little recap with Arthur's journal. Maybe it'll come out by the time we're done. Okay, which way is the sun? No, that's a satchel. I want a journal. How far back do we need to go? This shouldn't be... As long as um, the first one, since we're not going back to before the game started. Oh, he's got so many drones. Okay. Uh, yeah, we talked about Jeremy Brooks last time. Yeah, okay. I think this is the latest. Er part of the latest section. Uh, oh my gosh, the mayor is so loud though. <laughs> oh well. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna scoot. Get it, you shot of the mayor. Hang out. Over here? Wait. Yeah. Just trying to check the kitties over here. What's up? No kitties still. Hello. There's kitties in other towns too. Oh, maybe we'll catch another if we don't see this one. Oh man, I gotta go all the way back. Okay. Get to look at all those pictures while we're scrolling through. Oops. 
Wait, no. Yeah, we can make a copy of you. Okay. Met some old drunken Valentine. Claimed he was a, a shootist. Seemed more like a clown. Some poor fool was... Oh, autosave. Thank you for autosaving while I was reading. Oh, that guy's picking up a sack of flour or something. Um, some poor fool was writing a book about him, or trying to... Or trying to, period. Hang on, Levin was his name. Was the name of the writer. Jim Calloway was the killer. Apparently, Levin needs more information. Ask me to find a few folk who have spent more time in public publicity uh, than me and you. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Arthur, I love your handwriting, but it's hard to read out loud. Apparently, Levin needs more information. Ask me to find a few folk who have spent more time in publicity than me and you old Jim back when he was a real killer. Their names are Emmett Granger, Falco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, and Black Bill. Got a picture of Jim Calloway sleeping. Sound like a troop of clowns. We shall see what kinds of people who want to be famous murderers is. My hopes are not too high. Because the reason I like reading Arthur's handwriting We've got all the animals that we examined. Um, is that like he'll change his handwriting for emphasis or like what mood he's in and stuff? But we'll just have to like skim through it and then read the block text version. Uh, Como Driscoll slipped through our fingers once more. Someone Como Driscoll slipped through our fingers once more and I saw my own life slip through mine. That gentle buffoon we kidnapped up in the mountains took us to a cabin. We were planning to kill Colm, but he had just gone elsewhere. He shot a bunch of his boys and one was about to end my life when Kieran shot him. This feud, it's bled out from Dutch and Colm's mutual hatred into a loathing that permeates all the rest of us and all of them. Still, found quite a shotgun in the cabin. And then he drew a picture of the shotgun. Got some plants and animals. So many chickens. Look at all these chickens. Met, met an idiot hunting for treasure. Uh, bought a map off of him. Wonder if... What is that guy standing in front of me? <laughs> bought a map off of him. Wondering if... Uh, scratch that out. I'll find anything. I've got that picture of Albert. Met a nice fella taking photos of animals. Hang on. Albert Mason, I think he was called. Kind of interesting. Dude, why are you leaning up in my face? Kind of interesting and entirely lost and unused to real country, even though he seemed to love it. Mr. Left down. Try <laughs> trying to take pictures of all our biggest predators before they all get killed themselves by the modern world. Should have got him to take a picture of Dutch. But him. He got robbed by a coyote, but I got him this bait back. Got into some god awful fight in the town saloon. Bill started it. He's wound so tight about something, I reckon he'll start hitting himself soon enough. Uh, I was stopped from beating some old Yoko to death by a local do getter. I could not tell if this made me pleased or real angry. The local crowd seemed to want to see blood, however. Afterwards, Dutch accosted me with old Josiah. Accosted me with old J the Josiah Trelawney, <laughs> back quite and back and quite as slippery and confusing as ever. <laughs> he wants to see your journal too. Uh, Arthur doesn't show his journal at anyone, which is honestly so relatable. I, it's like, even aside from it being his diary, like his sketches and stuff, I am a perpetual sketchbook hider. I don't like people looking in my sketchbook. But yeah, I do still use a physical one sometimes. Um, he'll come and go again, no doubt, and leave none of us 
any the wiser as to who or what he is. Trelawney told us Sean had not been killed in Blackwater, but was a prisoner there, held by scalp hunters awaiting payment. Charles Smith, Javier, and I met in Blackwater and rescued that loudmouth maniac. Before we'd even cut him free from the tree, he was mouthing off at us. Javier said Blackwater was an impossible situation, and I guess I had better forget about all that money. I like trying to read what the scratched out words are. It's like, what did he misspell and how? All of them years wasted earning that stuff. Guess I'll never quite know what happened, but the upshot is we're on the run and and known more known to more folk and authority than we would like. Oh that's where we left off. Okay. So we got Sean. Uh, I think Charles and Javier took him back to camp. Or Javier took him back to camp. Charles went the separate ways so that they wouldn't be as easily spotted. Strawberry sure does look fine on a day like this. They sure does look fine. Oh, I see. My currently unnamed horsey. Hey there. Oh, look out. Alright, should put map marker so I know where I'm going. Nope, not that way. Don't want to get shot up by bounty hunters. It's another Albert Mason thing's already active. Ooh, actually before we go back to camp, let's pick up Swanson on the way. That'll be a nice pit yep. stop. Down the waterfall. You all right? Oh, uh -oh. this looks bad. Hey, let me. No, I'm not all right. <laughs> it's real. Bad. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, right, let's get this open. I can't stay here much longer. Open trap. Oh, God, you did it. Praise Jesus! Oh, God. Good thing I had gloves on. Grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. Say, lift me. Thank you. <laughs> Can I give this? Take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm, uh, oh, I'm, do I not have whiskey? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out. Take a minute now. Here. Oh, here we go. Drink this for the pain. I'd also probably use it to sterilize a little bit. I don't know if whiskey is strong enough to do that. Or whatever. My leg feels like it's like it's on fire. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. What you got? Eh, just some express ammo. I don't need any of that. Yeah. Alright, bye bye. And the thing. I almost didn't bring the trap. Hmm. What? What? Alright. Let's get back on the road. <laughs> Cinematic 
it's so pretty. It's also cute because if you leave Arthur on cinematic mode writing and stuff, he might start like humming or singing to himself. Ooh, we're almost there. I think. I think it's at the train station. Let me see. I'm not quite there yet. Hey partner. Hey partner. Hey friend. I'm just gonna go around. I don't have a wagon. I don't need roads. Okay, I'm at the station. Hey partner. Hey partner. I need to just stop <laughs> copying everything everyone's saying. First one to drop him gets the goal. Oh. Excuse me? Oh, where? You? Fine, fine. Oh, another one. <laughs> okay. Oh, one more? probably loot their stuff, but eh, whatever. Yeah. I know my horse is dirty, okay. I don't have a brush right now. I don't know what to do. Like, after... Heading back to camp, I need to like activate all the next plot quests uh, to see if any of them open up the stable again. It's Reverend Swanson. What's the hold up? Oh, wait, his marker's over here. Yeah, I am. Mr. Morgan. There he is. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's huh. embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. Hey, none of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? Just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing this place? Huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Um. Let's get Swanson I home. Camp partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun. I got <laughs> crawling out the you door. Sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you <laughs> home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend! 
delivering swamps. Where'd you go? <laughs> Where did he go? Can you see the guy crawling around on the ground? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Yeah, I look kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Yeah, but he's part of my family. <laughs> Gotta take care of him. I love that somewhat significant part of this game is horseback riding simulator. It is. Yep. You haven't even scratched the surface with how much it is that. Oh, just saying. Oh! Oh no, I ran over something. Get your hands off him! I didn't say a word! Get off of him! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your uh -uh. hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Let me fist fight him. Come on. I'll kill no. you. No. No. You're going to crack. Swanson just hanging out with the sheep over there. No, no, that's him. That's a rando sheep herder. Pair of damn fools. At least hit me. My health is not looking good. There we go. Oh my god, killed him. I'm gonna keep the law on you. Oh no, you don't. He's not killed, he's just sleeping. Hey you! Get back here! I'm oh, catching up on you. Oh shoot, my stamina. Hang on, I gotta eat midway through running. Nope. I guess I could use lasso. Hang on. <laughs> One second. Reach. Oh uh, no, too far. Where's my horse? Why are you making me run right after fighting a dude? Come on. Oh no! <laughs> I got caught. I'm glad Swanson isn't crawling off immediately again. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Retry. Probably called my horse right away. Gotta down some beans to run faster. Hang on. Horsey, horsey. Nope. Still won't let me call my horse, so I guess I gotta just... Hey, you. Get back here. Oh, let's try cutting him off over here. I'm past the trees. Oh my gosh. I think it just wants me to run after him. Speed at which Swanson must have between crawling in order to require horseback pursuit. I don't think he actually needed one, because like I caught up with them way quicker than I. Come on, Arthur. Almost there. There we go. <laughs> Oops, I crouched. Don't hurt me. Makes me a little less threatening. Tell anyone what you saw back there. You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. Mm hmm. Good. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Dude, he was right there. <laughs> Why were they alerted? It was all cool at that point. Running right after chugging beans <laughs> is risky. <laughs> Since when was it so... This is supposed to be easy. I almost tripped over that sheep. Hey, you! Get back here! I can't believe this is the part that I have to redo three times. There we go. Okay, 
Okay. Please don't hurt me. I'm just looking over his shoulder to make sure. Tell anyone what you saw Law back isn't there? approaching so You're quickly. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. You need to stand up for yourself. <laughs> Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Really? What are you doing? Oh my god, no. This man. I was like, why is my camera stuck this way? I realize it's showing me Swanson getting up on a railroad track. Just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. Oh my gosh. Swanson, what are you doing? Your butt. It appears to like this place. That was no. No. <laughs> Twist your leg, you bastard! It's fine, we're fine. My horse is hanging out right here. Thanks, sir. Stop wandering. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there's <laughs> a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? Miss Swanson. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? Hmm. Alright, let's get him home. Why is he there? <laughs> yeah. A flush of diamonds. As we get to know the members of the gang, we just see how they're all just people who were, like, failed by society. Yeah. Like, Reverend Swanson is just a priest struggling with addiction. It's like, everyone else has their own troubles. That's a big reason why everyone's so devoted to Dutch and the gang. Oh no, it was silly that it was a sad glimpse to addiction. Yeah. Let's me put him uh, back to camp before it activates the next thing. Okay, come on. Am I on the wrong side? There we go. Hi, Karen. Oh, you weren't talking to me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Hi, Bill. Where am I taking him? Yeah, let's take him to bed. Let him sleep this off. Well, I was wondering when 
he'd show up. There she is. Hi there, Arthur. Here we go. Sleepy time. Miss O'Shea. Hey, Don. Come on, there we go. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Let's get him some water. Okay, is it gonna... No, I gotta leave him come back. Hang on. I'm like sequence breaking this game a little bit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, not now, Hosea. Or actually, if it's sequence broken, I wonder if I should. No, no, no. I'm gonna leave and come back. See if that triggers it. Or do I have to come back at a certain time of day? I wonder. Easy. Okay, let's check out this stranger and then we'll try heading back to camp again. Who's... wait. Hang on, this one's a timed one. I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Hey, look. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. Word of advice? You see anyone, Mike could be in O'Driscoll, head the other way. Bye-bye. I can't carry any more of an item. Oh, the ammo. Ugh. Let me loot them. Anybody coming by? Ah, uh, the driver got killed. Oh no, it's raining. Then. Time to go, boy. Right. Let's see what this is. What's screaming? Oh, I know what this is. The rain clearing up. Did the university send you? Do I look like the because university if they sent did, me? They can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Hmm. Mm. Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. <laughs> what are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you 
nincompoop. And everywhere... Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Is Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Apple pie. Good luck. I'll keep my eye out for you. I love her already. She's a pretty, pretty great. <laughs> oh, I remember this part from that video you sent me. You mean the video about Arthur being a himbo? Uh, are they real? That's so cute. Yep. Percy, why are you running away? Okay. Oh my gosh, Arthur needs a nap. All his cores are down. I think yeah. I can go back to camp now. It must have been time of day. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Why was it making me go right? I wanted to go left. Okay. I hope this works. I don't want to sequence break the game. <gasps> Hi, Charles. You ain't joining in? Uh, I think I'll leave the celebrating to the experts. All right. Well, thanks again for helping us get him back. Hey, listen. Yay, the party's sure starting. This, hey. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Do you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Uncle Sean is back. Mr. McGuire, don't back. you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all. And cut through Dutch's tent. Keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. Is you get a bump on the head? And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. Where is she? I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have we lots of fun. <laughs> Come on, Sean. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Me? Welcome back, Sean. <laughs> I don't know what the drinks are on me. Mind if I join you fine folks? I they suppose. You're looking back. lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater <laughs> to here. This stupid old. So, what now? Come on. Right. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what's that? It's, oh, let this is my friend. <laughs> He's been Did you lot. know the Louisville lady? I thought lady? you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk <laughs> with the yeah, rest of the one. <laughs> you know there's one, don't you? Go join in. in Louisville, Finally! Well, what I do say? Put my hand upon her toe. Mark Check well, on. what I do say. Where's She's everyone? She's young man, you're rather low for the diddle diddle diddle. You know, when I was in the army, fellas would spend all night talking about what they were going to do the second they left the army. Oh, all kinds of things, like 
Oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a cook. Or, well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find me a wife. <laughs> Hell, someone's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. Mm hmm. Oh. Well, no offense. But you know what every <laughs> one of them did the second they left the army? Join the goddamn army! Okay. Jesus Christ! I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just screaming the leaving, and and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That taught me something, and 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 it taught me something I will never forget, and that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And if you can tell the difference between a the, the difference between a sheep and a, a, so much a other sheep. stuff happening, Javier's gone. We, the, the, Sorry, Bill. Let's oh, see what else is happening. Hey, y'all. Hi there. Hello. Hi there. Look after your boy tonight. He's not my boy. <laughs> you sure about okay. that? Okay. <laughs> Somebody needs to show you all how it's done. Where the drinks? And I'm sure you will. Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an old Driscoll. Oh, great. Oh, well, there's some bottles. You're alive. Hmm. You all right? Yeah, it's good to have him back. Let's see if we're still saying that in a day or two. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Take care, Arthur. How are you doing, Mr. I don't know why Taylor? Arthur's voice lines are selling really so far away. Mood. I understand. Whoa. Reverend. Hello. You okay? Hello. Hello. Let's walk and talk. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. It's okay. This keeps happening. Jose. Uh... You okay, Jose? Oh. Well done, Arthur. Uh, yeah. What are you tripping on? Come on. Let's get. Oh, it's whiskey here. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, no. I got down this because I want to talk to Mary Beth. <laughs> Just chug that whiskey, Arthur. <laughs> hang on. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Yeah. more drinks because his voice lines change once he's drunk but gotta find more people to talk to <laughs> oh, Karen's in his lap now Can really take the alcohol. <laughs> With a vengeance, it seems. Arthur, what happened to your voice lines? 
There he is. Long ride back with him. You have no idea. and everything to get another bottle. What's happened I talked to you yet? There we go. Well, he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, uh, you can talk. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you? All right, I guess. Good for you. Sure. Miss Roberts? Arthur. You doing all right? Doing well. Me too. I speak soon. I haven't gotten to talk to John yet. Because he was hey. in a conversation with Bill. Hi there. How you doing? I'm good. Some of them here that treat me all right. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, I didn't want to talk to you anyway, Strauss. Suddenly you seem much better, Mark. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. Well, you take care now. Yep. You sure do that. <laughs> I caught it just in time for them to hold hands. Jose. Huh? Whatever else happens, we did it. I know. I've seen that conversation in whole before. Oh, I had to look it up because I didn't see it in my nice first playthrough, but it's mood. really sweet. Am I stuck in the past, Arthur? Oh, only you can answer that. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right then. Okay. One person I'm trying to find. Oh, Tilly! I hadn't talked to her yet. Aww. Oh, Lord, if I had a bow, I'd be a happy <laughs> woman. I'd, I'd be a lady. I'd, I'd finally be a lady. <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be a little bit ill. Uh oh. Oh, my breath is back there. Oh, oh gosh. <sighs> Sorry to block your path. We needed a reason to celebrate. Where do I have enough time to get another bottle? There goes Sean. My health core is almost down from all the drinking. Let's have some biscuits. Now he's gonna find Karen. Where is he? I don't remember how far out he goes. Can I track him? <laughs> no. Let me just wander out into the woods drunk. Mm. 
Oh, here he is. <laughs> Sean sure seems in good spirits. I know. <laughs> Can we give him back to the bounty hunters now? <laughs> okay. Yes, so. See you later, then. All right, Arthur. Are you looking for your boy, Charles? Uh huh. <laughs> As now evidenced. Oh no, now I don't know where camp is. Okay, here we go. Okay, how is everyone? <laughs> Admit you love me. Admit it, I don't stop annoying you. I'll admit nothing. You love me. I'd rather love a snake. <sighs> Smooches. <laughs> <laughs> now she loves me. <laughs> I'm the happiest man alive. <laughs> Tilly, you doing okay? This could be a late one, Miss Gaskell. Oh, you boys have fun. Sean seems to be just getting started. Real charmer, ain't he? Like a dog on heat. Whatever you say. Mr. Matthews? Looks like this could be a late one. Oh, I reckon. Can I get you anything to drink? I'm fine. Well, you let us know. Okay, well, just talk more later. Okay, Arthur. You okay, Jimmy? Oh. Yes, just relaxing. So good to have time back. It's the first time I've heard Sadie laugh since all this. Just hiding from <laughs> sight. I hate you, know that. I hate you. <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave this area. Well, we got him. You did very well. All of you. And now we're stuck with him. Well, let's get back to it. All right, then. Everyone thinks that you're Dutch's pet. His pet? <laughs> yep. Like a dog or a cat. You're his favorite. Favorite? People care about that? Sure. I mean, so, oh, so, some do. A few people. Who? Oh. Me, mm -hmm. or not me, <laughs> maybe me. I don't, ah, shit, I don't know. I mean, like, hey, hey, it's like, okay, I love liquor, I love liquor, but liquor don't love me. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> well, she's pathetic. right behind me, isn't she? <laughs> Genuinely pathetic. Oh, oh no. Am I sweet? She really hates me, Arthur. Well, 
There's some things you could have done to fix that earlier. Where is he going? Jose is sleeping. I just got here. I wasn't listening to you two. Okay, Javier. So what happened to Trelawney? Disappeared, <laughs> as usual. to roam. I'm a rabble rouser and Dixie is my home. You in this for the long haul? Always to the bitter end, me, Morgan. I thought as much. You all right there? Yeah, I might have overdone it again. Oh, Reverend, Reverend. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All righty. You having fun? Always. You know me. Sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. Abigail. I cut through camp to catch her. Some of those boys are just getting started. Well, I should get back to it. Good night. Most everyone's One gone to the bed. Wait. There he is. But the ocean ain't whiskey and I ain't no duck. So I'll play Jack of Diamonds and then we'll get drunk. Oh baby, oh baby. I told you before to make me up. Wasn't much of a party for your return, Marston. So let's celebrate now. Ha! Already stealing Sean's moment. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh-huh. Oh, Should have known you'd be part of the drink. Man, I just caught what? a fierce second wind. Javier is out of here. Arthur. How are you doing? Yeah, good. <laughs> Right so here. done. Yes, see you later. Okay, bye. Ain't taking you long to settle back in. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> you crazy Irish bastard. All right, well, I should be getting on. Whatever you say, Morgan. Yeah, who's oh, still awake? Love is Just the soul sing by yourself. Okay. Arthur! Who did you call a guy 
Oh no. Whoa. I got no idea. <laughs> How's it all going? Pretty good. <laughs> Just go watch him get up. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's Hosea. Go to bed. I think Sean's the only one still going. Hey. Hello. How are things? I'm surviving. Is it in game? <laughs> we went through the whole night. It's like 5 a.m. Are you staying up? Or I guess he just woke up. Okay, good. Thanks. Dutch sleep sitting. Good to see you smiling, Dutch. We finally have something to smile about. Let's enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> okay, well, catch you later, then. Back nah. to it. All right, then. I, I knew you boys would come for me. I knew it. I love you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> right. Hey, Sean. Seems like that's the end of it. What time is it? All right. Let's get Arthur to sleep. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Put that down. Let's sleep till noon. I think I might have had too much fun last night. Oh no, I'm missing the wake up conversations. <laughs> oh well. Chicken on everyone first. It's old boy. John, where did you go? Just leave me alone, will you? Oh no. You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Oops, excuse Don't me. Don't I know it? John. Uh-huh. Any leads? I'm working on something. Good. Well, let me know. Fine. Reverend. Hey. Where'd Abigail go? Hey. Hi, Charles. Oh, no. There we go. I'm sorry. I He's talking to me. To I want to talk to Charles. Well, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. Hey. What are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some. Moonshine. Mm. Whiskey do? No. Has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> you just spit on uncle? <laughs> 
Okay, well, let's talk more later. Bye, Arthur. Rescue folks these days, aren't there? <laughs> I know. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. That's Strauss. for being bored lady soon enough you're gonna be scared when I was a little girl I guess I hoped for I don't know I used to dream a lot we all dreamt a lot then we grew into women saw what the world was for us how little it values us guess cheer up smile Try to forget about things. Okay. Either that or start praying real hard. Come on. Ain't that bad. What would you know about being a woman? Nothing. Forget I said anything. All right, well, I should be getting off. I guess. So many conversations Johnny happening. Wait, what's that? Hungry, Mr. Morgan. I know. Ooh, Hang on. People you haven't fed. Me. When did that become my job? Others are pulling their weight. Oh, give it a rest, please. You seem better. Yeah, I almost feel normal again. Arthur. That's not fair that there's like three conversations happening at the same time. Big stuff. You say so. Who's gonna join us for a drink? Huh? Maybe a little song. Come on, people, this is life. Okay. Okay, I think that was just someone greeting her. Mr. Morgan. I was Mr. just about Morgan, to chop some wood. Saved my life, and I'm, well, I'm very grateful. Don't mention it, Reverend. I, I made a fool of myself. We've all done it. I just, I just, I get so confused and, and angry, and then I, I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier, and, well... I'm a real prized dolt. I know it. Let me do some camp chores before I leave. Things all right? Not great. I turned pretty well time. I suppose I better go look busy. Trying to listen to their conversation while I'm doing this. No, nope, they're done. Make sure we're taking care of the camp. Might have to. Hmm. Might try. 
Honor and character attributes can be increased by partaking in daily chores. Uh... Okay, Ledger's not out yet. That actually might be a Strauss thing. I might activate what Strauss has for me, but I'm probably not gonna do what he asked for a while. Well, there's a lot of people hanging out over here. Because um, I think he takes care of the bookkeeping. Ham Morgan! Ham Morgan! Mr. Strauss, you busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. <laughs> Blown it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal <laughs> work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Right. Mm. I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Okay, so... Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. No downs yet. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. Is there somewhere we can take her? I don't think she has anyone. Uh, poor woman. Well, I should get back to it. Well. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Oh, can I get through here? <laughs> no. Okay. Javier? Oh, my head is killing me. I reckon you might be the most loyal of the lot of us. Uncle, what are you what doing? There? So, you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered up. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yep. Mary Beth? Hey, Arthur. How's it riding? Not very good. I hear the most wonderful words in my head, and then I ride absolute poppycock. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> yeah, me too. My journal. I was reading some the other day. <laughs> I ride like a fool. <sighs> uh, one day I'd love a beautiful fountain pen and a great desk in a quiet room and to write the most beautiful stories well i can't do much about the stories or the quiet room but maybe i'll find you a pen thank you hey tilly hey you recover from sean's party yeah, don't know if he has. Well, I should get back to it. All right. Okay. 
think. Hello. Your quest Oops. isn't open anymore. Real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. What's happening back there? You're not a nice man, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> Words fail. What are we gonna do with him? Stealing. After all we do for that man. So, no. So man. many conversations. What are the women like in Mexico? About the same. Some good, some bad. Some you think are good, turn out to be bad. <laughs> you miss Mexico? Of course. Think you'll ever go back? I killed a man there. Powerful man. Over a woman. Guy in the army. Until he lost his position. I can't go back. Maybe one day. I'd love to go to Mexico. <laughs> one day. <laughs> Maybe you will. Uh oh. I'd love to travel. See the world. Head south. Mm. Bolivia. Peru. Brazil. I met a Brazilian in a bar once. I, I didn't understand a word he said. Hey. Hey. Arthur. That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with him now. Anyway, I know I've ribbed you about that enough. All right, then. Yoink. Everyone's calmed down with all their conversations. Wait, they're starting another one? Or are they just saying hi? I think they're just saying hi. Okay, Arthur. Okay. I think I'm good. No, why do I keep trying to go through here? <laughs> if I can escape the tents. I'm like, um, uh, I keep trying to decide, like, I don't think, uh, can I help him? Um, 
I don't think it's spoilers if I mention which characters appear in the original game because they show up in like promotion promotional materials and um like I won't say how they get to that point like what happens to them in either of the games or it was interesting hearing some of these conversations after having played the original finally um because like we know that John obviously is in the because he's the main character uh but also Javier Bill Dutch uncle Abigail and Jack are also in the original Arthur. <laughs> uh, so it's just cool seeing some of the stuff in more context. Impressive. Oh, Driscoll boy. Mr. Arthur. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh, well, good. Just keep your head down. Push. See ya, Arthur. Okay. Oh, is it gonna pause all of my quests for Strauss? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I gotta do this first round of. Um, debt collection forum before I can do the stuff for Jose or Dutch. But we're getting up on the break. I'm just gonna do one quick look around again. Hi, Hi Tilly. Good evening to you. Oh, it's already evening. Everything okay? <laughs> I've just been listening okay. to people all just day. Doing what I can to help out around here. Thanks, Tilly. Okay. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. All right, well, I should be getting on. See you later. Okay. Karen's got guard duty. Doesn't have anything to say. Okay, I'll leave her alone. Um, well, almost that whole thing got taken up by Sean's party and the next day of just watching people talk because I guess a lot of the conversations just stacked up um, from me not visiting camp as often. But yeah, uh, just so much happening. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. Yeah, it'll never be quiet around here again. Okay, catch you later. Um, but yeah. Oh, she's having her dinner out here. That's cute. I really like seeing like everyone has their own okay, well, routine. And it's like sure. they'll be different on different days and stuff. Karen's gone. Oh, uh, yeah. It's super dynamic. It's wild how much stuff goes on just Art hanging out in camp. Evening. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take a break and then we'll get back on to some the proper missions uh, afterwards. So, see you in a bit. Welcome back. Um, oh my gosh, it was funny. I forgot to show y'all. Um, but I printed out a bunch of maps for a bunch of the collectibles, and I put them on my one of my DM screens. And so I just kind of have a bunch of maps, like taped up in front of me, uh, to hopefully make it a little easier for me to remember where to go uh, for some of the collectibles while I'm just going around. So I have the dream catchers, dinosaur bones, and then rock carvings rock carvings I haven't uh, encountered the mission for yet so that's not gonna do anything yet but we'll see whether or not I remember uh, 
to stop by for all that stuff. Uh, so it looks like Strauss is forcing me to do his missions. Because, <laughs> like, because I gotta do those first. Um, but actually, I'm gonna hop off a good rest of your stream. Tell me if you find any kitties, I'll check the VOD for them. Sure. Have a good night, Paris. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and. <laughs> yeah. Typos! Um, yeah. Um, thing with the. Uh, debt collection missions. That's like. Like Arthur's talked about it already when he. Uh, getting the mission from Strauss, where uh, he's already like openly against the whole thing with debt collection that he even like sort of questions Dutch's um what's the word yeah like he questions Dutch about ooh, um the business of doing debt collection but it's like Strauss points out that it's actually I just run over a fish um Strauss points out that's the only legal work that the can't the uh, gang really does. And so that seems to be why Oh no, it's getting away. Oh well. Um that seems to be why Dutch keeps him around, is since it's like legal work. It lets them get around like getting money without having the law on them. Like more than it would be normally. But it's like traces. Yeah. It's like because Arthur is more into what they used to do in the gang, where they would like steal from corporations or rich people or like government stuff um, instead of like. Not as much everyday folk, and definitely not like stuff that would hurt women and children. Uh, so it's like he's doing this work because kind of like <laughs> it's his job, quote unquote. English. Uh, speak English? Me? Uh, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Ah, uh -huh. uh, German. Mein uh, Herr, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. 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 Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. No. Illegally taking money from banks versus legally taking money from broke people. Yeah. No, 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 no. Please, no. No, have money, but. But you have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Varsava, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Long 
longer I look, the madder I get. Very valuable, good? Not good yet. Speak English. Okay, that should about cover things. <laughs> Stuck on the chair. He's obviously hiding something. But I got him satisfied. Mm. Part of me is like, oh, but it's more story content if I steal whatever valuable he's hiding. But it's like, I'm gonna feel bad if I do it. I'm pretty sure I did do it in my first playthrough. Yeah, he's locked the door. Good for you, dude. I don't remember what it was, but it was something like really sentimental. But like, also monetary valuable. Drop this, and then I think I can wait on the rest of it, maybe. Yeah, because now they're white. Yep. It's actually really interesting, like, because having Arthur being the main character, because he's like, he's not the leader of the gang, and he's not like, the rebel of the gang or anything. He's just like, he's like a loyal, he's super loyal to the leadership and he's like the head enforcer, I guess is the word. Uh, so he's like got these different aspects to his personality and like how he views like all these moral and immoral things and it's like I don't know it's like you could almost see him as like an NPC in another character's story almost but because the story is about him it kind of is like kind of is and it kind of isn't like it's his story but you can kind of see as it goes on how. Hey, alert there, Javier. Hello, Arthur. Like, John, um, or some of the other characters that show up in the original. What the? Pearson said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Stop torturing them, dude. Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, Morgan? I reckon you two are made for each other. <laughs> made for each other. <laughs> Karen, where'd he go? Over there. You okay, dude? Okay, I'm gonna drop the stuff in the thing. Oh, the ledger's there now. Was it there before? If it was, I didn't see it. Because I tried looking for it before. But we can use this to restock. 
our stuff without having to go hunting or whatever. Let's just... wait, I need to hold. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade some of these wagons. Supply wagons. I don't think I have enough to upgrade everything. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Well, Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow mm. I met in Valentine, Mr. Mm -mm. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. We're I not certainly seeing him. know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. Mm -mm. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Yeah, I usually do. I know. I know. Okay. All the missions are open again. It's also cool if you explore around camp. Oh, looking at this, got a item request from Hosea. Uh, if you explore around camp, you can kind of see other people's personal items that they keep. This one is Hosea's bed, and he likes to read, so there's a lot of books. Like... Mm. Oh! Jose and Bessie. How do I zoom? Zoom! Jose and Bessie Matthews. September, uh, 1888. To get like other little glimpses into their stories that don't really get touched on in dialogue or cutscenes. From Lenny's father. Just gonna skim through it. Lenny's dad sounds like was really supportive. Oh right, he uh, Lenny's dad wanted him to become a lawyer. Uh, if I remember right from Lenny's backstory, was that. Uh, his parents, I can't remember if they were former slaves, Arthur. I think they were, but, um, Confuse me out. I don't feel I understand it very much. I'll come back to that. Other human beings seem to understand why they were born, but for me, It seems like I was born to hurt and, and suffer myself. That doesn't always seem like a really good reason. Uh, I wish there was another way. But here in this land, uh, I feel very stuck. But, uh, um, I'm sorry to c complain. I, this is just so. Hey, Arthur. Listen, Charles. You're about the best man I know. About time you rested up. <laughs> That's not what his reply was supposed to be. Hey. Um. Hey. Hello there. I didn't know that that How conversation could Morgan? happen this early. I've only ever seen it happen in like chapter three. Um. But anyway, with Lenny's backstory, uh, I think what happened was that Lenny was supposed to become, start studying to become a lawyer. That's what his parents wanted. Uh. But then like his dad got killed by, like a couple of drunkards, and then Lenny 
who was like 15 at the time or something, went and killed them. Um, and that's when he ran into Dutch and saved him from getting arrested and whatnot. Like, obviously for him it would have been worse than getting arrested. Um, oh yeah, and then here we got a little bit of Bill's backstory. He was dishonorably discharged from the military for attempted murder and deviancy. And deviancy, I think we can kind of put together with other implications of him being gay. Um, and he got taken in by Dutch when he had nowhere else to go. Arthur. Okay. He spent a lot of time in camp earlier, so I won't poke around everybody's stuff, but I see that there is a letter in Arthur's tent. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. I to look at something. Hmm. Well, now we have a mission for Mary Linton. Arthur. Dutch? Let's check in on whatever Dutch well, wants from us. Feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. Do you uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like. Things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think Lady. he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. <laughs> you okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. Oh, wait. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. You doing this now? I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Oh no, I can't believe Paris is missing this part. This is like one of the most iconic missions in the whole game. <laughs> we were just talking about your backstory, Lenny. But hey, Micah's arrested. That's fun. Stop for nothing. Hey, you look 
glad you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? <laughs> oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Yeah, poor parents, but at least you're here, Bethany. <laughs> you get to witness this. The figures Mike is the one in trouble. Mm hmm. We're just gonna leave him in jail for a while. Okay, let's go ahead and ride in a little faster. This is. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about this one because it's just a really good. Oh, did you run into someone? Easy. Are you coming? Bartender. Oh, I'm, wait, I'm supposed to stand over here. Squeeze in on in here. Oh boy. Just one or two. Right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike. A lot Mikey... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone <laughs> for the last ten years. I'm Gotta this stay out of trouble. Buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Lenny. Lenny, where are you? We have a dedicated Lenny button. Lenny? Hey. That's a guy I beat up. 
Hey, buddy. <laughs> you know which way my friend went? Sorry, I don't know. Lenny! Lenny! You seen that fella I was with? Don't ask me. Hey, Lenny! Yeah, find my friend. You know where he went? I've no idea. <laughs> hey, you see my friend anywhere? <gasps> there he is. Oh no! Lenny! <laughs> Gotta take a leak. It's all good. Wait, so has uh, the whole saloon highlighted as a mission? We good? Well, oh, jeez, just walked into the door. Ugh. <laughs> oh God. Lenny. Oh, Lenny. Let me. Damn it, Lenny! Stop slumping off on me. Lenny, Lenny, spelled differently than Nikki. Great. <laughs> How many do you have, pal? Just the whole <laughs> UI. <laughs> it's so good. I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Great. Lenny, go away, you drunk. <laughs> Lenny? Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna drown him. I told on us. <laughs> no, run, Arthur, run. No, we're going off to the pigs. Did we make it? 
Oh my gosh, did we actually get away? Oh my gosh, we didn't get arrested. <laughs> Every other time I've seen it, he's gotten arrested. I had to move him to wake him up. Oh, this is new for me. Where are we? Where's Lenny? <laughs> Did he write on the tree? It's okay, Arthur. Let it out. Oh, that was someone else. Who wrote this? March 1898. Lillian Alfred. Always in my heart. I know that dude was a snitch. Oh my gosh, I hope Lenny's okay. But like, if the cops get you while you're running away drunk, and then, um, they're just like, ah, oh, you caused quite a ruckus last night. It's like, no. Oh gosh, I don't even remember exactly the words. It's like, no, I didn't. It's like, yes, you did. Nah, I don't remember. Stuff like that. I think they end up just letting you out. Like, he didn't do anything but disturb the peace. He don't drown the guy. Oh, there's a stranger. Oh, uh, I know who that is. But before we do that... Oh, that's the one that we're gonna avoid. Okay, we'll see the stranger and then we'll go see Hosea. That... I... Wait, where am I? Where's that stranger? Oh, here. The station. Um, yeah, that happened. Like, well hmm. yeah, do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some, take a couple of packs, take a few. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah. Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. <laughs> a little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. A little picture okay. cards. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Uh, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Mm -hmm. oh. And the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. Meow meow. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rampot, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Yeah, no, you don't have to smoke the whole pack to get the cards right. Are you leaving me behind? That's a mission that I never finished in my first playthrough. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I think we're okay. Where's my horse? Arthur, did you just run out of the whole town without your horse? Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. Hey there. Uh, oh, they're all in camp. Horse. <laughs> Don't blame the horse for getting drunk. Oh, 
at least I'm working out my leggies. Okay, how far? Okay, we're not too far. Barthay is tired. He's tired. He almost snacked, so he's not in the red with the stamina. Had some strawberries. Probably gonna have to have him take a nap before talking to Hosea. What was that, dude? Hey there, mister. Hello there. Yep, the camp was that much further. I probably would have just stolen someone's horse or something. Who's there? Who said that? Oh, Charles. It's me, Arthur. Welcome back, Arthur. <gasps> Always busy. Somebody has to do it. Well, don't let me disturb you. Okay. I'm not much company right now. That's okay. Uh, let me take a nap first, Hosea, and I'll come back. What is that mission? Oh, that's one of the... Good morning, Arthur. ...deck collections. Now, Judge, you always do. You good? Just can't seem to get a moment's peace. Hmm. I was checking Arthur's hair to see if he needs a haircut yet, but I think he's okay-ish. starting to get a bit long, though. Give him a little trim, though. Who's talking? That's my boy. Well, then he's back. He made it through. Now, how about we grab ourselves a drink, son? <laughs> sure. But I ain't sitting on your knee. This boy is a killer. All of you. You okay, Lenny? That was good business. <laughs> good business. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! You smell. It's cologne. Mm -hmm. It's liquor. It's cologne. From Cologne, Germany. <laughs> oh, I, I just had a few nips, Arthur. I'm not drunk. I'm just... <laughs> you know, you ought to try sometime. Drinking? Happiness. Try happiness. Just, just a little. <laughs> we robbed the stage, Arthur. Oh, the boy's kay. idea. Good work, gentlemen. Good work. Can't believe Bill is polite enough to let Uncle finish his ramblings before Already telling feels me. Feels like Sean's been back forever. Well, he makes his presence known. He does that. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. Keep it up, Bill. We need every dollar we can get. Of course, Morgan. I gave the kid a good schooling today. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Well, I should get back to it. Okay then. Yeah, I saw Jack earlier. I haven't talked to him in a while. Where'd he go? Who's that? Morning, Mr. Morgan. Hello. Morning, to you. Oh, here he is. Good morning, Arthur. How are you, Jack? Here you was sick? A little bit, but Uncle Hosea gave me some medicine. Oh, pee pee. Okay, good. All right, Hello, well, I should be getting on. Uh-huh. He's just a baby. 
Oh, he's so little. The preacher, I remember. Sure, please. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get him a nap. Then I'll talk to Hosea. Sleepy sleep. Where'd my bandana go? Oh well, I guess this is my outfit now. That was something that kept happening during my first playthrough too, is every now and then his bandana would disappear. New journal entry. Lenny. No. Oh, got a mini game. No, no. Yeah, let's do it before Jose. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So, yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. <laughs> After you. As you wish. I think it's 36, by the way. <laughs> mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Aww. So nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Uh, well, sure. I mean, yeah, I liked her. I know, kid. And I'm sorry about it. Anyway. What are you waiting for? Okay, for you, let's Lenny. have some fun. There was a fan art I saw that makes me laugh. Where he was playing this game against a rando. It was like, he just, the last panel just has him hold up his hand and it's just okay. completely bleeding. <laughs> okay. Don't think so much. Arthur must win to stay in the game. Oh, baby boy. Oh no, a circle now. <laughs> I just realized that they took the gloves off the outfit just so we can, um, wait, can I just, did I win? Uh, can I go? I gotta go. No, <laughs> I right. canceled it. Oh well. They took off Arthur's gloves just so he could stab himself better. Okay, yeah. Hosea. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My god. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. 
This one's okay, but ain't no boat to see. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Well, Some it's invisible. Big oh no. <laughs> bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I. Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new uh. horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Now we get to unlock the stable. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best one. Oh, I guess you're right. It's not letting me. This is going to be fun, I guess. Oh, it wants me to take me? the Shire. No, he's an angel. No. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. That is a pretty horse. It's a big one. Okay, can I get on my horse I now? You don't want to ride that one bareback. Why is this one broken? <laughs> I broke this what mission. So long with this saddle? Oh, it wants me to take the saddle. Okay. Put your saddle on him <laughs> Thanks, Hosea. Just <laughs> watching me struggle. Okay. Take a big gun. Okay, let's study it first so we can draw a picture. Uh, how do I... Wait. Who am I putting it on? Oh my gosh, does it want me to put it on the invisible horse? Oh no. <laughs> the game broke. Uh oh. Am I gonna have to reload the game? Hosea! I'm gonna have to reload the game, aren't I? Hold. Oh no, hold up to equip the saddle, but now it's still on whistling. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh my board. goodness. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Done. Alright, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. Bye bye. Yeah, good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Tangible saddle, intangible horse. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Uh, he's all right. Best things in life are invisible. Gee up there. Stables are just up ahead. Welcome back. Yeah, we sure had a little bit of a saga Go with whatever was room. going on there. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. 
Now I can finally get a brush. I think I need a bath too, but I guess we're about hey, to go hunting anyway. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But, your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. What have we got? Got heavy hand main stuff there. Um, I think we'll go ahead and sell this one. Ooh, $65. I mean, he's still got my other horse, but I guess he's too far away right now. Might have to get a new one anyway. Oh no, it's naming time. Oh wait, what did it look like? Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh no. I wasn't prepared to try to name this horse. Hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm. I don't even know if it's, uh boy or girl horse. That's something neutral I can name it. Uh... Hmm. I'm like looking around the sea. There is anything I can go with. What do I have around? Hmm. Okay, I have something. I'm basing it on this little plushie's name. Oh good, you wondered if I got to name it. Yeah, I do, <laughs> but then I had a whole thing. Um, I'm gonna name it after this little plushie that was designed by my friend, Noble Demons. Um, named Noble. Uh, and the little Noble plushie that I have is actually wearing a cowboy outfit, so it doubly works. No, not that. Okay, uh, done. Tack and services. Do I need? Uh, I'll do customization stuff off screen. I usually don't do anything with their main or anything. I usually just leave it however it is. Um, wait, I don't see. Did I have a brush? the whole time and just it wasn't lined up right or something. Where's provisions? Let's get stock up on the hay. Make sure I get some horse stuff. Just in case. Horse reviver. I think I must have had the brush all along and never, and it just didn't line up right before. All right, partner, you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers, and on me, a new 
Oh, the there's the brush. Okay, Some thank treats. you. Appreciate treats. It. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Oh, he shrank a little. Choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. I want to give my horse a little brushy brush. Hang on. Brushy brush. Now that I finally can. Hop on up there, let's go. Just a second, Hosea. Brushy brush. Brushy brush. You good? Yeah. Come on. You won't know till you get in the saddle. All right, I'm let's get going. Getting to it. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Ooh, up I in like the mountains, east of Cumberland Falls. Oh, that's far. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure <laughs> on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? Fine. Where are you going? It's supposed to be go following now? Hosea. It was a year, Hosea. Yeah. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. Does he? I'm sure he does. He doesn't act Running like off it. Running on that kid is one thing, but there's code. Yeah. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Yeah. So, like, after Jack was born, um, as this conversation implies, uh, John left the gang for a year. Um, it, I don't know if they'll like specify further, but it was like okay. he had doubts that I it was his kid. Right up here. And that's why he and Abigail are always fighting. That's why Arthur's mad at him. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That was the most grudging fine. <laughs> yeah. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. All right, girl. <gasps> it's a girl horse. Yeah. Easy, girl. In case I didn't mention it before, there's actually a button for talking yeah, to your okay, horse girl. and like petting the horse uh, while you're riding. Yeah, That's why. <laughs> so you would be like, "You're all right, boy," with the other horse. one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. <laughs> okay. I mean, just ruin the meat. Best thing's a book. Bow and arrow. Wait, where'd they go? For a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I don't I have, have a varmint rifle right, right now. Four, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun if I remember right. I don't it might just be like the vibes um Hosea has but he like reminds me of my grandpa a lot sometimes. I don't think I'm gonna skin this one. Sorry, I had to burp. I wasn't. But 
if you skin a rabbit or other small ones, he'll just like, and it just comes apart. Good job. Thanks, Dad. All right. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Let me stow this first. Well, then you get a set up. Oh, I have the camp. Oh, this wasn't available before. I didn't realize. Let me just pull the whole campsite out of my pocket. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. I still have some deer meat from the one that the cougar stole from me. The most important button in the game, the horse petting. Yeah. Uh, what do we have? What does this one do? Uh, ooh, time helps with the dead eye core. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a pun with it slowing down time or not, I just realized. But let's go ahead and cook it with that. I think it's one. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Truly an old man. That's okay, though. It's good to avoid nighttime tummy aches. Um, I'm gonna go back and use the other. Let's cook it with mint. That does help the core. Minty game. It's gonna. Is it gonna let me put it in my? What? Okay. <laughs> Good thing I knew what the buttons were. Uh, let's cook another one of those. Let's put this in my pocket. Mm, what else do I have? Let's do some that's plain. I think the game's trying to tell me stop cooking everything, but <laughs> may as well. How much more do I have? After this one, it'll be last one if it's not. Okay, that was the last one. Perfect. All right. Well. Can I get up? We better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. Sleepy time. <coughs> Morning, Arthur. <coughs> You ready? Well, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but... We'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. Ooh, potent predator I was virtually bait. weaned on bear meat. How you getting on okay. with that bait? I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Yeah. What's the hold up here? I'm 
coming. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. That's actually something I like seeing explored in the new Spider-Man game. Look for tracks, With, dung, like, bones, villains. any sign of him. Um, having, like, what's the uh, word for it? Hallmarks here, Jose. Showed him big enough. Villains who try, try to leave that light. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Yeah, they're just, just going on foot right now. Cause it's like the tracks go into those trees. It's not something that there's a good support system for. fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. Puppy. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Does it just end here? Uh oh. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either I think that Arthur or needs a bath. We could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Hmm. Let's go ahead and use the bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's not split Let's the Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Oh, is that annoying? Been the satchel. Uh, here we go. Oh, I don't have 
I didn't take any of my <laughs> rifles from my horse. This is probably bad. A thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. I hope I I'm good with this. Let's just take a look at that face. No, Jose, I don't do sure. that. I don't trust Come this. On. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Don't both look at it. We had you. Got your knife? Shit. Oh. Easy. Now it's too close. Still. Oh, it's gonna get me. have vines. It's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, um, you coming or not? Yeah. I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going then. You're so suspicious. Jose is suspicious. I think he's one of the least suspicious people in the whole game. He's very upfront about what he's about. But I'm more worried like Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about this. Like when you like in a movie or whatever when they set a bomb and someone wants to go back to check it. It's like no don't do that. We're just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it's a big furry one. <laughs> well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. Jose is like the kind of parent that's like, nah, we won't tell we won't tell your dad about this little excursion. Don't worry. When are we hunting another bear? Uh, maybe not for a while. <laughs> Might be for the best. You can now own multiple horses and store up the three at the stables. My previous horse has been stabled for you. Oh, John was looking for you, Arthur. Huh? He's over by the tree behind the campfire. You what? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Okay. I don't see him at the map marker. Only got ten minutes. He's just wanting to talk, or does he have a mission? <gasps> Got a mission with Charles! Oh, it's a home robbery with Javier. That's what that was. Wait to know what... I guess John's not on the map. Okay. I guess we'll try to find John and then wrap up from there. Oh, here. There's a little question mark. No, this is... Oh, I love these talks. Yeah. You we can okay, talk. Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Wait. Of course worried. What about? Okay. No 
whole world is changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Oh, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just realistic about what's coming. Keep thinking I should help. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, it still has a question mark? Okay. John. Uh, you busy, Arthur? Oh, uh, yeah, actually, we don't have time to do a house robbery right now. Are you okay? Some famish. There he is. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. Been quite a ride the past few weeks. It doesn't seem like again. he had anything special to well, say. Just gotta keep moving on. Okay. Thanks for the Mr. lead, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Morton. Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Lying on the other hand, that really <laughs> is a sin. Good morning, Arthur. Okay. Morning, dear. Good morning, Arthur. Guess we're going to be checking them on hey there. Morning, Arthur. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> what does that Always mean? Show, man. Okay. The one time I'm not gonna go talk to Charles. just wanted to say I'm sorry about your husband, your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. Okay, I'll catch you later then. If you say so. I'm cool. Morning, Arthur. Whittler in all Ireland. Good morning, Arthur. Having a rest there, are you? And boy, have I earned it. Well, don't get too comfortable. Whatever you say. <laughs> I was about to chop some firewood. Yes, you see, we all have our duties. I'll stick to bookkeeping. Okay. 
bookkeeping. Not harassing random people. There's also other chores to do around, like carrying hay for the horses or moving sacks of food. Are two different people whistling two different songs? Uh, carrying food around the camp to Pearson's chuck wagon. version of you. Please don't say that to me, <laughs> Dutch. Oh, it's true. It's true. I've been better. Anything I need to know about? Not that I can think of. Well, you know where I am. <laughs> Most of the time. All right, Arthur. All right, see you. <laughs> Should you be smoking you with later. that cough? to see Hi, Arthur. Okay, I think about everyone's oh, caught thanks. up on conversation now. Plus a bird doing its own thing too. It has so many whistlers. Okay. Oh, here we go. I was trying to see where more of the chores were also. So may as well while we're wrapping up. Sometime let's do I want to do the let's do the hay. Uh sometimes people will comment on you doing chores like Strauss did earlier. And here Oh, now John has the marker up. Okay, so he did have something to say. He just wasn't ready yet. Either that or Miss Grimshaw just came to tell me too soon. Uh, Karen's doing guard duty a lot lately. Excuse me. Whose horse is this? Brown Jack. Boaz. And this one's Javier's. I think. I'm not sure. This one might be Bill's. Can't remember. Good Karen? She's Arthur? busy. Miss Karen. How you getting up? Fine oh. so far. <laughs> to think I was once a damsel in distress, and now they got me protecting the men. <laughs> Just stay alert. Oh, I shall do. If anyone tries anything, I'll blow their heads off. You got this. Mm, ooh, Domino's is a- hey. Ooh, yeah, Domino's a Tilly. Okay. Ah, uh, but it's already five. Hmm. Might... See if there's any starting conversation. Wait, is she not? Oh, here we go. I sat when I was supposed to play. Come on! All of you! What's happening? We'll play some <laughs> yeah, of course. Right. Broke. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So I've been meaning to ask. Oh, shoot. What's that flower you keep by your bed? Oh. There's something my mom always liked. 
kind of a good luck charm, I suppose. <laughs> they only grow out west, in parts of California and Oregon. I always try to grab one when I'm out that way. That's nice. I don't remember too much from back then. I was so young when she passed, but mm -hmm. I remember that for some reason. My lady. I never had that conversation come up in my first playthrough. Wait, does that mean Arthur's what, from, Mr. like, Morgan? Oregon? Because I think hey. he mentions another time he's from further north. Well, we missed whatever speech Dutch had going well on. Said, Dutch. <laughs> Are you keeping busy? Because, Pretending we heard you know, anything. Mate. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Whatever you say. Okay, well, it is... 501 now. Uh, have a bunch of new missions that popped up. We got John wants something. Got a couple of missions with Charles and then wherever Javier went. I guess it's something that he only wants to do in the morning. And we got more debts. We got, I think this is the, yeah, it's for the Gunslinger book. Got Albert, still got something. We can see Micah, but I'm gonna ignore him. <laughs> Just leave him in jail for a while. Get nice and toasty. And we can brush our horse now. Oh, and we can do some bounty hunting. What's this? Oh, I forgot we have a mission with Mary. Who sent Arthur that letter. Okay. Uh, almost forgot one more thing for wrapping up. I need to flip through his journal just so we can have something for... Uh, Thumbnail. A few things. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out. Uh, both of you had to leave early, and if you got to stuck, stick around, if you're able to stuck. Oh my gosh! If you're able to stick around, whatever. Appreciate everyone who was able to stop by. Um, yeah, maybe in the next one, didn't really get a chance to wander around uh, since the party took up most of the first half. And then we had some story missions to get more basic abilities unlocked. Uh, maybe we'll get to do some more exploring next time, it seems like. Yeah, uh, thanks again for stopping by and Hopefully, get to see you again next time. Yeah, I'm like, I keep feeling like I'm forgetting something, but I think we're good. Um, but yeah. Well, have a good night. Take care. And, go on now.